Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ara. I'm a 39 year old mother of five, beauty and fitness lover. And today I created this very cool toned, toned down demure look for you today using the new quad from Addiction Tokyo, Miss Mauve. Addiction Tokyo created a new collection called the Italian Embroidery Collection. In this collection, there are 12 new palettes, new quads rather. However, the quads, some of them have already been part of the Addiction Tokyo lineup from my understanding. The information that I collect on this is from Alina Allure. She's kind of my go-to for all things luxury beauty. They have 12 new skincare infused eyeshadow palettes. I picked up just the one if I like the formula. There are a couple others that have caught my attention that I might go ahead and pick up as well. The palette is $52. You are getting six grams of product in here. I cannot read this, so I couldn't tell you how long of a shelf life it has. It's supposed to have a new skin melt technology for smooth, blendable texture. I have only worn this on my eyes for maybe a half hour, so we'll have to see how the day goes. To really truly test how long this formula will last on my hooded eyes, this one I felt was closest to the Tom Ford Nude Dip. There will be timestamps listed down below. If this is your first time joining me, hi, welcome. Don't forget to hit that like if you enjoy this video today and hit that subscribe button so that you know every time that I upload. I've got you zoomed in nice and up close. This is Miss Mauve in all of her glory. She's absolutely beautiful. I wasn't going to get this one originally. I was gonna get the orchid one. Lena Allure posted hers and that one was probably the most beautiful in my opinion. But then I saw this one and I was like, it reminds me of Nude Dip from Tom Ford. So I picked up this one instead. And since the formula has changed, I only got one. I wanna test it out see how it does because if I like the new formula here then I will go ahead and pick up another one but for today let's just play with Miss Mauve. I'm gonna start with this one in the top right corner here and I'm gonna pick it up on a Danessa Myrick's My 19 brush and oh, get some of this creasing out of my eye first and I'm gonna go ahead and buff this all through my crease. This looks more purple in the pan, but it's translating a little more cool toned brown on my eyes. I think it's gorgeous. I kind of wish it still had that slightly purple undertone on my eye as it does in the pan, but it doesn't bother me too much because this just seems like a perfect companion or rather dupe for the new dip from Tom Ford. Formula though, I don't have any other Addiction Tokyo quads minus the, the limited edition seashell quad. I can't remember the name of it, but I will post it somewhere. That one I do have and I, I like the formula. It just wasn't super wowing. I'm gonna use the bottom right shade here on my 27 brush. I'm gonna place most of it over the lid and then buff it into my crease. I'm gonna take that same My 19 brush, but with no additional product on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and buff out these edges here. On a Makeup Forever 210 brush, I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. This is the bottom right shade one more time. I'm gonna keep this look slightly more demure. The word that is going all over social media, which is kind of driving me nuts. I'm gonna go ahead and use this formula dry. I'm gonna use this top left shade here. It is a shimmer. I'm gonna start with a brush. If I don't like the way it looks with the brush, I'll use it with my finger. 
it's a very sparkly lavender undertone in the pan, but I'm not sure it'll look that way on my eye. Dry, it actually looks really pretty. That's the shade dry. It's very subtle. I think I wanna go ahead and try to dampen it first and then I'll use my finger on the right eye and see how that goes. All right, let's see what we get. Oh yeah, that just amped it up just a little bit. A little more to my liking. And all I did was use my setting spray. I'm gonna use my finger on my right eye and just kinda of see if that looks any better. You know, dampened, it looks slightly shinier, more reflective. With my finger, not so much. It looks a little similar to the brush dry in effect. I'm gonna use the bottom left shade on a large pencil brush. This is the Maya 18 from Danessa. I'm gonna try it dry first. Just kind of pack it into this corner a little bit. It's not giving me a whole lot. Let's see if I can bring it into this third of my eye just to touch. I'm gonna dampen it for my right eye. Oh, that's better. So it doesn't have a ton of shine when you use it dry, but if you dampen it, it does look quite a bit better. But it doesn't give a whole lot, so it doesn't make the corners of my eyes look a lot brighter than the entire eye overall. No false lashes today, friends. I just used Mahuda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara. I felt like I just needed to tone it down a little bit. Most of my looks, I always use lashes. Not today. Let's just be easy and comfortable. I have to tell you, I am a little more excited and happy with this Miss Mauve palette from the Italian Embroidery Collection. I'm not entirely sure if it's limited edition or not. Some of the posts I've seen from Addiction Tokyo say this is it, limited edition. Other content creators have posted and it, it's not mentioned that it's limited edition. So I'm not 100% on it, but I will update you in the comments or in the description box down below. Each one of these shades, the two matte shades are amazing. I love the formula to it. It's so silky smooth. I don't have any other quads except for 102, this one is Sunrise Tide. These are all shimmers. These are all shimmer shades. They're not, well, some of them are more, I, I lied. There's two like satiny shades and they kind of feel similar to these two from Miss Mauve, but they're not the same formula. They feel a little less buttery. They're smooth and they're soft, but they don't feel as creamy as these two from Miss Mauve. The two shimmer shades here, they don't wow me very much. They definitely worked a little bit better with the damp brush, but the formula is, is very subdued, very toned down, very demure, if you will. This isn't super sparkly reflective. In fact, I could have used either or. I didn't need to use both. The purple shade here, the, the very I guess you would say it's a little little more sparkly than this mauve shade. I could have put this one in the inner corner and I still would have gotten the same look and same effect. I don't think I would have gotten any more brightness from either one if I had just done this more taupey shade versus this more purple leaning shade. It probably would have looked the exact exact same. They're beautiful and they're soft. They feel comfortable on my lids. They don't feel heavy or thick or anything like that. I don't think I'll get much variety out of this. However, it's a gorgeous palette and you don't spend nearly as much as you do for Nude Dip. This is the comparison I wanted to do the most. Tom Ford's Nude Dip is a classic. It's a cult favorite. If you have it, you know this is the wet dry formula. I've had it in this black packaging for a while. I can't remember how long now, but this one I got from Nordstrom years ago. It's one of my all time favorite quads. 
and probably my favorite quad from Tom Ford if I were to be brutally honest with myself. This is a beautiful, stunning formula. None of the shades are the exact same as the Addiction Tokyo. You're gonna have a little bit brighter of a look. It won't be as deep and purple leaning for sure because these are not purple leaning cool tones. I don't think these are dupe for dupe at all. So let me see if I can swatch these a little bit better for you. This is Addiction Tokyo Miss Mob. This is Tom Ford Nude Dip. There are some similarities. These two deep shades here, they're pretty much dupes. These two, not so much. I hope you found this comparison helpful. I appreciate you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Everything on my face is linked down below. Those links are affiliated. So if you click on those links, thank you so very much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it. Bye guys.